As an urban tomato farmer, I know what it is like to grow a tomato plant only to encounter one major problem. Your plants are not setting any fruit and you don't know why. In today's video, I'm going to show you how a tomato plant flower is pollinated and what factors affect it setting fruit. Let's begin. If you look at a tomato flower on a tomato plant, you will notice that it's yellow and green. Now another thing you probably would notice too is that when you're looking at the yellow part of a flower, you'll see the petals and then you will see this part here, which is called the stamen. The stamen is the part of the tomato that contains the male genetic code or the pollen. Now this actually would be pointing downwards, honestly, because when bees come by or when the wind blows and moves the flowers around, the pollen that's inside of the stamen here will start to fall out. Now this part right here what we call our stigma. Now this part right here is what would catch some of the pollen and would actually send the genetic, the male genetic code here to the ovule and the ovary and that is the part that starts to swell and to grow and would produce our fruit. And once it receives the pollen and the genetic code and everything, then it's able to produce the seeds so that it would be able to produce the same fruit the next year. This is basically a plant's way of preserving its genetic, the genetics of the plant. Now a Parthenial carpic tomato, on the other hand, they don't need pollination from the stema. They actually set fruit without pollination. And because of that, they have very little, in fact, most Parthenial carpic tomatoes like your organ spring and your slits, those tomatoes actually, or we would more would call of seedless tomatoes because they don't have the male genetics basically to produce the seeds. Now, if they were pollinated, say by a bee or maybe by the wind, then of course they could set fruit. Now Parthenial carpic tomatoes are really good if you're having problems when in whatever area you're living in and they're not setting fruit very, very well. The next part that you probably want to understand is why your tomatoes are not setting fruit. It could be a number of factors that can be causing this. One of those is temperature. The optimum temperature for tomatoes to set fruit would be about 65 to 80 degrees during the daytime and 65 to 70 degrees at night. Because one thing is tomato plants know when their pollen is good and when it's bad. If a temperature during the daytime goes above 90 degrees or so, the pollen itself will go bad and it will not be able to pollinate our ovary here and would cause it to form a fruit. Now when that happens, the plant will do what we would call a flower abort, where the flower or the tomato itself would pretty much would drop the flower because it knows that it cannot produce any fruit and there's no need to hang on to it. So it's just basically going to let it go. So temperature actually has an effect on when they set fruit and such and how they set fruit. Humidity. Too much humidity and this pollen inside of the stamen here will not let go. It will basically stay attached to the stamen or the anthers and it will not let go and pollinate the stigma to be able to form the fruit. Another one, it could be that the plants are not being watered enough. That right there can also cause it. If it's very, very dry, then the pollen itself is going to dry out. And dry pollen is very much unusable for the flower itself. So pretty much what's going to happen, it's going to drop the flower. Tomatoes do not like temperatures below 50 degrees. In fact, they don't even tolerate frost. Now, there are some varieties of tomatoes, I take that back, there are some varieties of tomatoes that are more cold tolerant and that will set fruit in cooler temperatures. Light. Tomatoes are light loving plants, which is why it's always important that tomatoes always get six to eight hours of direct sunlight. Not indirect sunlight, and we're talking about direct sunlight, six to eight hours. That's just sunlight alone. Now, if you're growing tomatoes indoors, it would be a good idea to make sure that they get about 12 to 18 hours of sun, 12 to 18 hours of artificial light because the lighting that we use indoors may not be as intense as the sunlight. I hope this information just helps you out in understanding how tomatoes, flowers get pollinated and how they set fruit and understanding why your tomato plants are not setting fruit. 
Now there could be a few other factors as well and disease is also another one too. Now if you do live in hot humid climates like I live here in the state of Florida in the Panhandle, no Pensacola and area such, then it might be a good idea to look at varieties of heat tolerant tomato varieties. And if you'd like for me to do a video on that, please leave it in the comments section below. And if you have any other questions, please leave those in the comments section below as well. I hope this helps you out and I hope this helps you understand about how tomatoes set fruit. And remember, if it can grow a coral, it can grow a plant. Thank you very, very much and thank you for visiting my channel. Take care of yourselves and please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Helps out the, helps out with the algorithm. Take care. God bless.